Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Thunderstorms earlier, but it's not, not too bad day to be outside now and maybe get a workout in with some firefighters. <laughs> I don't know, I sense a Diet Coke commercial coming up or something. <laughs> but we don't have that. We have Kristen Aguirre, who is out at the Quincy Fire Training Center this morning. Hey, Kristen. Good morning. Well, on our show, we have seen the fire department here do mock fires, uh, do an ice rescue, and even show us how they battle car crashes. But now we're learning about one more of their specialties. Well, we, uh, we have a lot of special teams. Uh, you said dive in, and uh, we have a water rescue team. We have a hazardous materials team. Uh, but we also have a technical rescue team where we deal with situations such as structural collapse, um, let's see, uh, trench, uh, trench rescues. Uh, we have uh, confined space rescues. And uh, today we're going to be talking more specifically about high and low angle rescues. Why is it so important for the fire department to have all of these specialty teams? Well, uh, I think uh, when... when uh, when you think about it, we, we're, we're strategically located uh, all over the city. Uh, we, we drive big toolboxes, you know. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, when it comes to the emergency services, we're, uh, you know, we're, we're prepared to, to handle more equipment and, and more training and things of that nature. So, so every, every morning we do this, we always mm -hmm. give everyone an inside look into how you guys do your job. Yes. And today is without a, no, no exception. So we're going to be climbing up there, and what are we going to be showing everyone? Uh, we are going to show everyone how we do a uh, high angle rescue, uh, where we'll set up uh, some equipment to uh, repel or lower. And uh, I think I can explain that a little bit better when uh, we have the visual. All right, and you'll never guess who they're going to be rescuing? Me. So I'll be dangling up there in a, in, in a few uh, commercial breaks afterwards, and I will be getting rescued by the Quincy Fire Department. <laughs> <laughs> this is like her dream come true, I think. I know. To be rescued and not be in like stress. Because, you know, if you really need to be rescued, I see it's alive to Midtown QCY. It's a variation for Quincy. Yeah. That's where we find Kristen Aguirre this morning. Yeah, she is uh, talking with the Quincy firefighters and getting herself in a little trouble. Hmm. Hey, Kristen. <laughs> I am getting in a little bit of trouble, and we'll dive into that a little bit later in the show. But right now, we are going into QFD specialty teams. Now, the team, the, the department actually has about three of those teams, right? Yes, we have our technical rescue team, which is, uh, you're dealing with some of those members today with your uh, uh, rope repelling here. <laughs> and then uh, we have a hazardous materials team and then a water response team also. And we've seen the water response team before, and they rescued me out of some broken ice. Okay. Um, so now this morning, oh, how important is this technical? team? Uh, well, they do a lot of different types of uh, special rescue. Uh, one of them being obviously a rope rescue here. They also do confined space, uh, trench rescue, building collapse. So any type of uh, special hazards that we might run into or uh, get uh, called to, uh, they're trained in all of those areas. Now, you rescue. guys are um, one of the departments that are just a handful of dozens of, of departments that actually are trained with these. Yeah, uh, for here in the state of Illinois, they organize a lot of the fire departments in the area and uh, are all over the state and we're one of those teams for technical rescue uh, we're probably one of uh, the only one within 100 miles of here for hazardous materials it's about 50 miles and for water response it's probably 100 miles in too how does that make your you feel with your department being one of the only ones in the area well, for one, uh, I guess good and bad. It's kind of bad in the fact that we're so far away from another uh, major city that might be able to help us out. So that's one reason why we have all three types of teams mm -hmm. in this area here, uh, because we are out here by ourselves. But also very good because of the just the level of expertise that we have from everyone. Uh, in this area to where we can respond to any of those types of emergencies. All right, well, I definitely feel more safe knowing that these guys are top-notch trained and they are going to rescue me later, and we will dive into that coming up a little bit later in the show. I will be dangling from that building. See what she says when she's actually dangling yeah, exactly. from the building. If that doesn't get you to stay tuned, I don't know what will, because the forecast certainly is. Checking in with Kristen again. She yeah. is uh, preparing herself to get rescued by the Quincy Fire Department. Dangling from a roof, Kristen. I am not dinkling quite yet. We're making our way up there. We're a little bit closer to the building now. And I might, I mean, I, I'm getting a little bit more scared because now that I'm looking up at this, 
I'm not sure if you guys, you guys will be able to save me. It's right? higher when we get up top. <laughs> yeah. We'll but, try. We'll try. But I should be, I should be okay because you guys go through some hardcore training to, to be certified for this. We do. We do. Uh, with all the technical rescue disciplines, uh, a lot of the classes are a week long, two weeks long. Sometimes there's an operations level class and then there's a technical uh, level class, which is a little bit more advanced. So uh, all the guys that are a part of our technical rescue teams uh, go through those trainings before they, you know, would be called out to, uh, to any one of those calls. Now, do you guys get call, called a lot on some of these technical rescues? We or? we uh, we use our ropes and and, and our uh, technical rescue skills more than uh, more than you know. It's kind of one of those things in the fire service where when we do a good job, nobody knows about it because you know it doesn't get reported and it doesn't get seen on the news. But like I said before, all of our trucks are like big rolling toolboxes, and uh, this is what we would pull up with. We have trailers that have other specialized equipment on it. Uh, that uh, you know, again, we have hazmat trailer, uh, dive team trailer, and a technical rescue team trailer. So but we could even these? pull up with one of these. This is what we call a one-man bag. And if I pull this out, <clears throat> basically, once this is opened up, you can see that there's a harness inside of here. There's a harness inside here. There's uh, different tools and equipment that one person could uh, uh, immediately get started on. Uh, that rescue. They could immediately get started on the setup while the rest of the teams are called out. And then, uh, again, ropes are a huge part of all of our different disciplines, water rescue and, uh, and everything else. So we have rope bags up here also. And, uh, again, we can just deploy these as soon as we're called out and get started on, a, uh, on some kind of rescue with just one truck. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get up harnessed on. And coming up a little bit later on the show, I am going to get rescued. <laughs> so she hasn't fun. changed her mind then after looking up at the building on no, she'll get halfway there and go, oh, no. I think she's in good hands. Much like That's right. Now, take a look over. This is where I will be dangling from. Coming up after the break, we're going to learn a little bit about the equipment that's going to be keeping me safe. You're watching KHQA this morning. Kristen Aguirre is live in Quincy this morning at the Quincy Fire Department's training facility. Yeah, she's getting ready to dangle from a roof and have a daring rescue by those firefighters. Kristen? That's right, I am. But before I get dangled, I need to know that I'm going to be safe up there. And so I don't need to worry, right? No, uh, you, you don't have to worry at all. I mean, we, uh, we've done a little bit of coaching. We'll probably coach you through the rest of it. But just so that you're aware, uh, we'll show you some of the gear that we'll put on you. This is, uh, this is the harness. And like it was explained to you before, uh, this is a class three harness. So, uh, it takes a little bit of work to, you know, to get it on you. But we'll, we'll put that on you. And this, this harness allows for you to invert and go upside down. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that more a little bit later. Uh, we'll have a helmet. And we'll have a pair of gloves for you. Again, all of that equipment is in what we call our one-man bag so that one guy can just grab it and he's got everything that he needs to get started. Uh, this rope, uh, we're actually going to run through uh, what we call a brake bar rack to lower you down. Uh, as we fold this rope through each one of these uh, different bars, it creates a little bit more friction. So... You know, I, I don't know how much you weigh, but we won't feel any I'm not, of that I'm not going to divulge that on air. Thank I, you, I, I didn't, I didn't think, you. I didn't think you would, but <laughs> again, it, it won't be a problem. Uh, one guy, a guy can operate this with one finger a lot of times. So. And these ropes you were telling me before um, can can take up to how much weight? They're they're tested at nine thousand pounds. We have a fifteen to one safety ratio here, so uh, again, we we assume a, a six hundred pound load, and, and again, a fifteen to one ratio brings us to about nine thousand pounds. So when you guys go ahead and go on these, you feel completely safe. Yeah, yeah, we we do feel completely safe. And then again, we have a lot of different training. Uh, we'll have you on this what we call a main line. We also have a belay system, so we have re redundant safety systems. So. We got, we got you taken care of. All right, so I, I feel good. I feel okay. So coming up after our, the break, I'm going to go ahead and get harnessed up and start my descent down. And I'm not going to divulge her weight either, but I bet it's less than 9,000 pounds. I would assume so. I think we're good there. I think we could all, everyone in the studio right now would <laughs> manage to we climb down We could all be that. rescued. Yeah. Center. That's where we find Kristen Aguirre this morning. Yeah, she is uh, hopefully dangling from a building at Let's this point. Let's get suited up. Yeah. Hey, Kristen. Well, I am not dangling quite yet, but I am geared up to do just that. So let's tell everyone a little bit about what, yeah, what we I'm wearing. You can't just go throwing you off the edge. Yeah. Uh, again, this is a class three harness. Uh, what we'll do is you can see there's a lot of different places we can connect to this. We'll connect our main line, this red line here. We'll connect that to the front. And then if you turn around, there's, a, there's another place on the back that we can connect to once we get your hair out of the way. And we'll have what we call a belay line. That's a safety line on the back side of you. Okay. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll come over here, and the first thing we'll do is we'll kind of do a rough measurement from about the, the end of this, from the end of this brake bar rack to about where your chest would be when you're hanging out here. 
we'll get the brake bar set up and then we'll get you through these bars and we'll get you step you know stepping against that wall and then we'll you know we'll make sure you're all comfortable and stuff like that before we send you down so I need to be the position I need to be in too is kind of letting my feet yeah. kind of guide me right yeah exactly if you look at the wall down here what we're gonna have you do is put your feet against this wall and you'll kind of you'll kind of you'll kind of walk down it'll be it'll be more comfortable than you think the the hairy part is uh, just the fe the initial feeling when we put you over the edge uh, well, I'm definitely feeling that hairy part coming up a little bit later in the show. Make sure you come back because you are going to see me dangle down from this building right here. Ooh. Don't look down, Kristen. Yeah, Hugh Jackman also <laughs> had a hairy. Well, certainly not ice cream and cake, but uh, Kristen Aguirre is out of the Quincy Fire Department. Fire Department. Get your words together. Get she's your out together. at their training facility um, doing a, a daring rescue where she's actually the person getting rescued by some help, of these help. firefighters. Hey, Kristen. All right, well, we are getting ready to descend into our technical support rescue right here. I'm a little bit nervous, All right. so just start walking ready to go? Just start walking down. Just keep your feet against the building. It's okay. kind of slippery. Yep. It's actually really slippery. Okay, well, lean back further. Lean okay. back further. Yep. Okay. All right, now just kind of straighten your legs out. You ready, Jason? <laughs> yep, give her some rope. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, now just kind of walk down. Keep your feet up. You can push push away from the building okay. a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Just keep walking down. Okay, it's not so bad so far. No, uh-uh. Let your it's <laughs> it's more comfortable to let your lower body go below okay. your feet. There you go. Just keep walking down. So this is the process you guys go when you are doing a rescue. Th this is just a lowering situation. A lot of times we might repel ourselves, but this is how we lower somebody oh. down. All right. Now, when you get to that edge, uh -huh. just go ahead and let your feet let your feet stay on the edge. <laughs> All right. Let your body keep dropping. Okay. Almost upside down. Yep. All right. Now watch the building. Let your feet go. Okay. You might swing just a little bit. Very nice. Very ah. nice. Very nice. All right. Now you're just having a seat. We're now I'm just hanging around. Salvation. All right. Good job. What kind of rescues do you do these in? Uh, you know, this, uh, this is a really, really basic setup. A lot of times we can have, this is what we call a lowering system. We can have haul systems. Uh, it really just depends on the situation, but we have a lot of different options. All right, well, I'm going to continue to hang out here with the Quincy Fire Department. And while I'm coming up a little bit later in the show, I'll have more details on their technical support to you. You don't think we've had a better live shot with I, Kristen and I, I what hanging do we have, around. Can we pull her up or can we, like, offer them some money and let her hang out for a while? That might be kind of mean, especially since there could be a thunderstorm exactly. later today.